what's up world? It's Dr. Bounce Back. You already know what time it is. It's Get Over the Hump Wednesdays. We are week seven. Week seven of Get Over the Hump Wednesdays. Y'all been rocking with me for the last six, seven weeks, man. It's been good. I've been growing. I hope you've been growing. First of all, I want to just give a shout out to my new subscribers. I got a couple new subscribers. Um, Tiffany Crowley, I see you on. I see you. My partner, Tawana O'Neill, Ebony Washington. I just want to give y'all a shout out. Candace K, um, Twyla Greer, or Twyla Rivers. I saw that comment that you left. Uh, both of y'all, I just want to give y'all a shout out. Much love for coming and watching these videos with me and rocking with me over the last few weeks. I just wanna let everybody know if there's something that you, that you haven't heard that you wanna hear me talk about, you wanna hear my point, my outlook is something, I want you guys to PM me, just send me a private message or hit one of my email addresses and um, maybe we can get that idea of you don't get over the hump Wednesday. Now this week, this week on Get Over the Hump Wednesdays, I just want to talk to you guys just about getting over humps. I mean, you never know. You never know what a person is going through in their lives. And, 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 and getting, getting over the hump, Get Over the Hump Wednesdays isn't just about getting over the hump of Wednesday. It's about getting over all those humps in your personalized life because, believe me, I go through a lot. I'm always having to get over a hump. You wouldn't even believe it, but last week I was in the hospital. I had to get two MRIs. I had to pay the emergency room a visit. Now, luckily, by the grace of God, I'm good, but there's always humps that I have to get over in my personal life, and it just seems like they come at the right time. They come when I'm trying to grind it out, when, I, when I'm trying to make things happen. However, those humps, those challenges, that adversity, if we can begin to view it the right way, we can allow it to be effective in our personal lives. We must learn to embrace it. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, because I, I like to think about this story. This story that I read one time, and it was about a person trying to climb a mountain. And they were trying to climb a mountain, and they gave the analogy of what if this person tried to climb the mountain, and the mountain, the, t the terrain on the mountain just wasn't very rough. You know, it was just all the way slick on one side, and the other side of the mountain, it was rough terrain. There's no way that that person would be able to climb up that mountain that, that was slick, without no terrain, with nothing to grab a hold to. So in order for that individual to get up that mountain, they had to take another road. They had to re retrack and, and take another route to get to the top of that mountain. They had to go to the side of the mountain that had the, that had the trees, that had the rough terrain and the hills and the rocks that they could grab a hold to to get to the top of that mountain or to the top of that hump. Maybe you're going through something in your life right now. Maybe you started off this week and it was challenging. Maybe you got a whole lot of things to do and you're just not getting them done as fast as you want to get. Things are just coming left and right. But I'm here to tell you today that you got to climb up the rough side of that mountain if you want to make it to the top. There's no way you're going to you're going to be able to take the easy route and get to the top of that mountain. I climb mountains every day. I climb humps every day. And I notice I, I realize that I can't take the easy route. I have to take the stairs, I have to take the more complicated route because that's what's going to give me the knowledge, the wisdom, and the learning that I need when I make it to the top and I can apply that knowledge and go down the, the other side of that mountain. Now I can get things moving in my life. So like I said, it's time to start getting over them personalized humps in our lives one step at a time. One step at a time. It's your guy, Dr. Bounce Back. I'm coming to you with Get Over the Hump Wednesdays. Always remember that we chugging like a train trying to get up that hump. Trying to get up that hump. So we can hit the peak and then we can just coast down. And that's where I see you guys at next week. I see you guys at the bottom of the hump and we're going to make a push to get to the top. It's your boy, Dr. Bounce Back. Get Over the Hump Wednesdays. Peace.